What's good, YouTube? Bring you another blitz out the three four odd. Uh, this is the fire zone bluff. All you want to do, uh, this comes in this beach running back block. It's only sitting four people. I think it's one of the best blitzes in the game. So all you want to do is base a line, shift your D line right, shift your linebackers right. I know y'all saw this blitz on my channel. Y'all like, bro, I already saw this. What are you doing? Well, don't worry, I got y'all. Uh, crash your D line to the right, put that guy there. It's just a way better version of it. It comes in a lot uh, faster and more consistent. Bluff plus that guy right there. Bring that guy right here. Uh, and then just leave him there. And then you can use this guy. Or you could, yeah, yeah. You could either use a safety or use this guy right there. Y'all going to see uh, we hiked the ball. That time I got picked up. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I used to line, shift my deal on to the right. Shift on to, oh, crash him to the middle. That's what you want to do. You want to crash into the middle, then fit that guy there. Shift your linebackers right. I don't know why I always. I mean, crashing right is just. I'm just such in the habit of that. I don't know why he won't move over, dude. Yeah, this is how it'll look when they come over here. Uh, then bluff with this guy right here, and then all you want to do actually you just want to come right here and then hover. You just come right there, hover, shade underneath to cover the flats. Y'all gonna see we hike the ball. He comes off the edge. There's nothing he can do about it. Uh, this does come in with a running back blocked. Uh, and you can only I, I send this you, I usually send this using five people, but uh, y'all can see there's nothing they can do about it. If he doesn't come off the edge, like one of them are gonna come off the edge regardless. So it's really if the first guy comes off the edge, you're gonna get super fast pressure. Dang, I'm gonna bluff this to the wrong guy. If, if the uh, other guy comes off the edge, you're gonna get super fast pressure. But uh, if the second guy comes off, then it's like whatever. You're still gonna get in there no matter what they do. So like I said, base line, shift your D-line to the right, shift your linebackers right. There it go. Crash right, and then you want to bluff with this guy. And pitting this guy on a, pitting that guy in a hook is optional. I can just, but if I recommend it, I would just buff blitz him too. And just like the 3-4-I, you want to move that guy over just like this. Same concept. Y'all can see it just, well, that time, the line just got over there to get him. But it's just nothing they can really do about it. But the format isn't as consistent. So I recommend like y'all don't do that setup uh, because it's just not as consistent. I don't know why. That time I did it wrong. Y'all see, no matter what, they're coming off the edge. Like uh, just use it in the game. Like practice mode just acts dumb. I don't know why practice mode acts dumb. But there you go. Now the blitz is set up. Like it's basically the same thing as the the concept we're using for the three four I, but it's just a little different. That's all it is. So like I said, baseline shift da da da. Move him, we bluff with him, crash to the right. Uh, and that, that's the, basically the setup. And he comes down, he comes off the edge. There's nothing they can do about it. But I hope you all enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. Just tweet at me on Twitter. Uh, I will answer 